There are a lot of fun ways to spice up your fall season with day trips or long weekend escapes where you can combine food, culture, history and nature. So for Travel Tuesday, I recently spoke with Darlene Newman, the host of the award winning PBS series Travels with Darlene. She shared three of her must visit cities. Darlene, it is so good to see you again and congratulations. I know this is your 10th season of your show. I know, I can't believe I've been on the road so long. I definitely have good travel tips at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you are gonna help us because it's fall. There's some beautiful places we can go and visit to kind of get away from everything. So you've got some short trip ideas for us from here in DC, where do we start? Well, I would start in Wilmington, Delaware, and it's so funny. I mean, I filmed all across the USA and sometimes you forget about those places that are so close to home. <laughs> But Wilmington's just two and a half hours drive time from our nation's capital. There's beautiful historic taverns and restaurants and the DuPont estates you definitely have to check out. There are three of them that I would recommend. And Nemours is pretty amazing. It reminded me of a mix of the Biltmore estate. Oh, if you've yeah. been there, I know about that. And Versailles, it will really knock your socks off. Really, really interesting. And then go down to Market Street. Great restaurants down there, but there's a James Beard Award nominated restaurant that's relatively new. It's called Bardea. They have a burrata pop tart. If you're a cheese Ooh. lover, you are going to like it. And then nearby Wilmington Brew Works has a beer named after President Biden, which is kind of fun if you're looking at our modern history. And Newcastle, Delaware is also really cute, reminding me of Colonial Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. There's a place there called Jessup's Tavern. It has over 200 Belgian beers and they have the shepherd's pie. It was basically the size of my head. It will feed a whole family, <laughs> but it was very good comfort food. It sounds amazing. I met a woman not too long ago from Wilmington at an event. She just was like, you have to come up here. It is a great city to come and there's so much to do. So I love that suggestion. Okay, where else do you suggest maybe we check out this fall? Well, I would go north, go to Montreal, Canada. Again, not too far. You can get a two hour direct flight from the DC area. Great food scene there as well. I was up there this fall and I stayed at the Fairmount, the Queen Elizabeth Hotel. It's a little bit, reminding me a little bit of the Watergate and that there's so much history there. There's this John Lennon and Yoko Ono suite where you could actually stay. It's a little bit expensive, but it's like a mini museum. John Lennon and Yoko Ono were there during their honeymoon. They had a bed in, they wrote the song, Give Peace a Chance. So really cool history, but guess how much it will set you back. Oh, how much? Just 4,000 a night. Oh, not, just 4,000. <laughs> but you can stay there and also and check it out while you're in the hotel, which is what I did. And then great, great hotel to walk around yeah. from and really good food scene there. And for families, there's a place called the Insectarium. So if you're feeling down this fall, if you need a little bit of levity, that's a really great place to go. Awesome. All right. So that was headed north. You have a place headed down south, which is, I think, both of one of our favorite cities. So. I grew up in Myrtle Beach and I loved going to Charleston as a child, but loved also revisiting Charleston recently to film for my series. And I was able to do something that's new called the Liberty Trail. It's running throughout the state of South Carolina, including Charleston. And if you love American history, it charts all these different locations where you can go to combine that history with food and culture. So I definitely recommend doing that and checking out a place called The Grocery, which I'm recommending personally to you for your next trip. Uh, it's another James Beard Award winning chef there, Kevin Johnson, and he takes heirloom products. So he, he takes products that have a history ties that history together and makes these amazing dishes. There's also a lot of other great restaurants around there. I definitely would get the shrimp and grits at Gilly Seafood. There's a place called T.W. Graham and Company in McClellanville, just outside of Charleston. Super cute. It's been around since 1894 wow. and has great seafood. So lots of ways to enjoy great food, walk around among the beautiful historic homes, and then go to the nearby Francis Marion National Forest, do some kayaking, do some hiking, and there are battlefields there that you can discover that have a lot of history too. So lots of great ways to explore Charleston. I love that city. Just walking and seeing the side porches on the homes, like it's just so historic and beautiful. Uh, Darlie, thank you so very much. I know you're filming Travels with Darlie right now, but when can we expect your 10th season to premiere? It's coming out in January on PBS stations and will also be on your favorite apps and streaming sites. So please look for Travels with Darlie. I'm really excited about this season. It's super diverse. Uh, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations again. And thanks for taking some time with us this morning. Thank you for having me. It's always great to see you.
I took Darlie's advice and went to Wilmington, Delaware this weekend. Check out the DuPont Estates. Everything she said was just absolutely beautiful. A great day trip. We've got so much right here.